Welcome back Stoner Squad and welcome to all those new to the channel. My name is Danny Stone and thank you for joining me today for some more Imperial Rome playing as Tyre on the Bronze Age mod. So in the last episode we got our very first vassal Apec. We waged war against them, made them into a nice juicy client state. Um, albeit they're pretty big and they are not very loyal to us because they have more men than we do but we are going to quickly solve that problem. What I would like to do is get another army going. Um, um, pretty much get some Axeman stuff. I would like to get that. I mean, I suppose I could disband the archers and the spearmen over here, but I don't want to do it just yet by fear to weaken us. So what I'll do is we'll just raise another army and then I'll slowly disband the others once we've got another decent sized army up and running. Just kind of limit the dangers really, because the dangers of like kind of disbanding this is making us weaker and then inciting the AI to go to war with us, which we do not want to do. But um, anyway, let's keep the game rolling. So the first thing we want to do here is probably go for some Axemen. Let's see, how much do these cost per month, by the way? I'm going to find out how much Axemen cost per month. I, I don't really know. Axemen, they cost 0.33 per month. Not that expensive, actually, I've got to say. I thought they would be a bit more expensive than that, but that's fine. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. So go for one, two, three, four, for five of them Axemen. More than enough. And then what we also need to do is colonise the last two pieces of land. So when we hit the 20 um, political influence, what we'll do is we'll colonise these last two pieces before any migratory tribes come and settle there. I don't want them settling there at all. No longer importing cloth. Why? Why, why, why? Who chose not to trade cloth with us? No one stopped. So I can't get cloth now. We need to try and get something else instead. And maybe something we don't have a surplus of, like wine, would be nice. Let's get the... Wine. I get it from Hazor. Yeah, I'll get it from Hazor. I'll get it from our own province, only because the army maintenance cost is reduced by 5% now. And that is dead useful. Okay, we may not be gaining the extra 0.3 or 0.4 gold per month due to the fact it's in, like it would have been a, an external trade route, since it's not that. Um, but it doesn't matter. I think just the reduction in army maintenance is well worth it. Right, let's see where I can put you guys. Down here, we seem to have a lot of food. Well, what about up here? Do we have enough food there? Suppose I could put you fellas. Where do I want to put you fellas? I'm gonna put you down here for the moment. I'll move you onto the um, onto the city down here. That's more than fine. Right, at the end of the month we'll colonise this here. There we go. Boom. That is done. Thank you very much. Was it this? Which one was it? This one? It was that one. So now we're gonna go for the logging camp here, of course. And you guys are now merged down here. Thank you very much. I'll assign you to the ruler, of course, or to the governor if you wish, which is the ruler. We definitely need to get some more in there. So let's do... What do I want next? I probably want... I need to import... Oh, no, I know. I don't need to import anything. What I'm going to do, though, I'm going to make... Can I make heavy chariots here? Why not? Can I make heavy chariots over here? I can't because I lack horses how do I lack horses here I've got horses and I've got copper so I should be able to build the heavy chariots oh I don't have the military traditions are you kidding me I need military traditions for heavy chariots Okay, so we can't build chariots or heavy chariots because we don't have uh, the required tradition to do so. Okay, well that changes the army comp a little bit. So what do I want to go for? Maybe something to counteract the, the enemy axemen would be nice. I mean, maybe some skirmishers? I mean, I suppose I could lead in with axemen as the first line, skirmishers as the second... They do damage to Axemen. I might try that out. Let's go for some skirmishers. Let's go one, two, three, four, five skirmishers. Okay. We'll try that out. Because what we could do, we could like lead with heavy Axemen and then annihilate everything with the heavy Axemen. That's what I'm going to guess. I mean, they do damage to everything apart from skirmishers and chariots. But I don't think the AI leads with chariots in the first line. And I don't think they lead with skirmishers. It's going to be interesting to find out. But I think that's the comp we're going to be doing. I mean, I would say it's definitely the comp we're going to be doing. 
So I need five light chariots on the flanks. So what we'll do is we'll wait for manpower to get back up a bit and then we'll get some more of them down chariots. That seems to be the wiser option to do. Now, we need to get this down here. I need aggressive expansion to be reduced so we can do our war against these guys here. Hold on a moment. I want the citizen output. Yes, please. Do we have another tech point or not? No, we don't. I need two more tech levels in two different categories. I might go for the army weight modifier before we lose it. And I might also go for the ship discipline. Or do I need that just yet? The war score cost would be nice, but I don't really need that just yet either. Now, I don't think we need anything else there just at this particular point in time. What I do need, though, is 900 manpower. So I can colonize this, and we should get it at the end of the next month. Not this month, but the next one. So, at the end of the um, beginning of March, we'll be able to colonize that last tiny piece there. What are our cities like? Are they all been done here? I think all the buildings have been done. They have. Everything seems to be under control. I can now colonize this. Thank God for that. And let's also go for the logging camp. So now we've got all the land. It's all colonized. The only tiny bit we need now is uh, this here, which is controlled by this migratory tribe or migratory chieftain. We are allied with Elba, thanks to all. Well, that's a great annoyance. Um, shower. But they are allied to these two here. I could do a no CB war, but they're allied. Uh, they're allied to Elba. Elba is pretty much surrounding themselves with everyone that surrounds us. So if we attack anyone, they join the war. And we don't want these guys to join... Oh, they're planning my demise. Are you kidding me? Yeah, they're planning to kill me. Um, very soon. We need to stop Pile Gold. I wonder what they want. They probably want this off us. Um, I more than guess this is what they want. Yeah, they're definitely planning to kill us. Can we go for another alliance? I suppose we could join forces with Kanata here. That could work. Or is there anybody big next door to Elba? I mean, these guys are, but they're way too outside of Diplo range. These are an urban kingdom. What's their tech level? Only one level above. So let's go for an alliance with Kanatha for the moment. I think that would be the best thing to do. I mean, that means we have this as a client. These two are allies down south. We have Dibon allying us as well. Yeah, Kanatha's going to be the one we want. Let's go for an alliance with Kanatha here. That should act as a small deterrent to stop, trying to stop Elba from trying to take us on. They're still wanting to kill us. And the ship of state. So the renowned philosopher Isfakura Bastara believes that the world will never be free of its evils until the kings and the princes of this world have spirit and power of philosophy. The ship of state must be maintained by only men of wisdom, benevolence and authority. But you're like your crap zeal and i think the guy we've got is pretty damn good he is so uh, yeah just send this raving lunatic on his way is there anything we can do here to probably help us with our military now i can't get anything yeah i can't because i don't have any military or political influence and i really would like that extra discipline there but i can't get that is there any laws we could change at some point to help with the kind of military stuff I mean, I suppose I could get the discipline. Or the, re or the recruit merc cost and maintenance would be nice. I think I might try to enact the um, the merc contract law. What do we gain? 71 pops per month. We need more. These are still planning my demise. I'm pretty sure they are. Yeah, they're going to so try and kill us. We've got like 81 cohorts. I have, they have like three times on my amount. Four times my amount. So I might hire some of these mercs to get them ready. Do I want to hire these mercs and get them ready or not? Probably. I'm going to hire these guys. I can always disband them when I don't need them. I'm just going to hire them for the moment. I'm hoping that having these extra mercs will send this guy on his way and stop trying to annoy me. I'll hire these guys as well. So we've increased the size of our army. We've got about 50 cohorts now. We have a better military tech level than this guy. And I am going to take the hostile attrition here. That scorched earth policy is going to help us out quite nicely. Are you still planning to kill me? Yeah, you're still planning to kill me. You and your allies. They have a lot of allies, by the way. A hell of a lot of allies. 
But we'll get on the Wallop and we'll see what happens. I need more manpower. I need to get that up as well. Maybe that's why they're planning my demise. Because they see I've got really low manpower. But they're probably thinking that we're weak and they want to kill us for it. A disagreement on the highest level. So, uh, Sikar Bel Yanudu, a sound man of sound reputation, and Minu Kura Igorid, a nobleman of great virtue. So, we've got the head of the Yard New family and the chancellor. And the primary heir to become king. Because that's because both of his children are women. I will change the um, succession law as well when I can. Are these two fighting each other, so who do I side with? I'm probably going to side with. I'll side with the guy who's got the less loyalty here, just to kind of balance things out. That would be a good thing to do. What do you want? They want cedar, no problem. Be my guest, I'll happily give you that. What now? Are you still planning to kill me? Yeah. It's only a matter of time, I think, before they go for us. I can't think of... I can't think of it, honestly. I can't think of anything else they're not gonna, um, they're gonna do. I mean, they're gonna try and kill me, this is sure. Just we're too big, there's not enough room for multiple powers. And they don't seem to really like us. Which is why keeping these mercs hired, I think, is a good thing. I can take you off um, unit reorganization now, to be honest. Yeah, let's take off unit reorganization. I think, I think they've took them all off. Have I took them all off? I have. Do I have any tech level points to spend? No, I can very nearly when this goes up though, and I'm definitely going to bang it on military structure here for extra army morale. I think that's going to be something we need. And I don't dare do any military maneuvers in case these guys find out or find it as a good kind of opportunity to kill us. Right. The Faith of Silly Dagan. Lose 18 gold, gain 6 stability. Yes, please, let's have that. No problem. Kes Binu. What do they want? Dice? Yeah, you can have dice. I'll happily give you that stuff. I wonder what they want, though. They want something. What do they freaking want? God, I hate it when... An, I hate it when you know someone's planning to kill you. And... You know it's going to arrive, but you don't know exactly when they're going to come and try to kick shit out of you. Not something I like. A miraculous recovery, so our guys recovered miraculously, that's cool. Let's change a law here. And I want to change the... I want to go to Agnatic Cognatic here. Oh, I don't. I just need a little bit more political influence. Maybe two months and I think we can do it. Oh, I can do it now. Let's go for that. Yeah, sure. Definitely go for that. I get a couple of disloyal people now, because it's the guy who was going to be the new king, but now it's changed, so obviously he's pretty pissed. But now it's our daughter here, she will, she will come into power. But that's good, at least it keeps our own family, well, it's the same family, but I mean, it goes down from the same dad. Instead of passing on to, like, the king's brother or something like that. Right, here, I need to probably up, I need some more troops here. I want one, two, three, get three chariots there. I want to increase their, get their loyalty. I mean, they have low opinion of us. We recently declared war, so that obviously is going to make them pretty pissed. I don't know if they join in defensive wars, though, if I get attacked. That is the major issue, or the major question. I'm still playing the otherwise. I hate that. I hate it. I really do. I can't do anything against you. We have a lot of aggressive expansion. And we're pretty much at the mercy of this piece of shit. Anyway, the preeminent Sili Dagan Yanudu. Some say that throughout Tyre there's one constant. The deeds and the character of, of Sili Dagan Yanudu precede him from the villas of the capital to the shabbiest border town. And you're the high priest. And I don't want to waste my gold on befriending you, or do I? No, I don't want to waste my gold on being friends with you. I'll just lose a bit of popularity. We're not very popular anyway. Could I hold games? I can't. How much does it cost to hold games? I suppose I could hold games. We don't have much popularity gain. What if I was to hold games? How much would it add? 0.10. But we are losing it anyway, so I'll still go down by 0.07, so I think it's pretty pointless. He's got no charisma, you see, so... No wonder everyone hates him. Oh well. Oh well, oh well. Armies are lacking food. 
Oh yeah, it's normal. They're the just the ones we've recruited, so they're joining the new force. I've got 53 cohorts now. Still not affecting their loyalty. God, this... Maybe we're going to need the Great Overlord. Yeah, we're going to need that Great Overlord thing next, I think. A peck, they want dies, no problem, because the client state can only trade with us. That's good, that's good. Extra stability there, that's fantastic. Just declare war on me already, for God's sake. I mean, if you're going to do it, just do it. Don't, like, let me wait, <laughs> please. But even with these mercs hired, we still generate, like, 0.82 military experience per month. We can easily keep these hired as our permanent army. Easily. And the mercs will do most of the fighting. I really want that guy to attack. I really want him to fucking attack us. Um, extra tech here. We could probably go for the bread stamp, which is always useful. And maybe the ruler pop game, which is also going to be good. And probably go for the siege towers. Do I want that? Nah, not, I don't want to spend all my money at once. We're definitely going to need to save some. For a rainy day. Right, let's add. Let's get two light chariots. And I'll also get a supply train in the mix as well. 72 manpower per month. Are you going to change your mind, douchebag, or not? I mean, bring it on. I mean, we have a big coalition. They've got 28 cohorts. These have got 15 cohorts. Well, maybe not a lot of manpower, our client, but still. And these guys have got 17 cohorts. So if you, if you want to take us on, feel free. I mean, bring it on and we will smash you to smithereens. And what I'll do is I'll break up your whole empire. I'll get you to release nations left, right, and center. You'll never see the light of day again. So I dare you. I really, really freaking dare you. Um, Ugarit, they want cedar. Yes, no problem. Take, take, take. Again, this is so freaking high. Uh, Bountiful Harvest. This is a good event. We'll gain the money. The money's always really useful. Okay, these are slightly getting more loyal now. But they might actually stop peeing us off. Which would be a good thing. We can also get another tradition, and we're going to go for the maximum war exhaustion, minus three. That should be pretty cool. And then we get the extra legitimacy, which would help. Now what does this route do? Loyalty of characters, that's pretty good. And this is for, like, the navies that I don't really need just yet. So we're going to finish this off. We'll go for the warring states, maximum war exhaustion, minus three. And it automatically unlocks king and state, which gives us more monthly, monthly legitimacy, sorry. So... That's nice. Go and change your mind. Stop planning my demise. Try and kill someone else. I mean, why are you planning to kill me? It's like, just leave us alone. I mean, I'm supposed to be your friend. I've improved relations with you with all and, and everything, so... Just leave us alone. Anyway, incendiary slave speaks in Kisam. A hot-headed slave with a talent for oration by the name of Ab... And Melkart has been stirring up his fellow bondsmen in the city of Kisam. The local authorities have so far managed to keep the situation under control, but the brazen fool continues to hold forth on the corruption and unfairness of the political system, with Ishmaniles Yugorid receiving honourable mentions. I round up the troublemaker and kill him. Do I kill a Phoenician slave in Kisam? Slave happiness goes down over there, and again, tyranny. Do I want tyranny? Divide the group and deal with the leader. I lose political influence, which I don't want to do. Um... This Abdel McCart or Ab Melkart could be useful, but I don't want to lose political influence, you see. I'm going to round up the troublemaker and just get it. I mean, fuck it. We don't have any slaves anyway, so I'm not worried about the slave revolt. Really, it's the last thing I'm worried about. We need to replace these archers with actual spearmen with. I don't want to keep spearmen. I mean, these guys are obviously going to have cannon, aren't they? Do they, do they have horses? Yeah, they have horses because they're obviously going to have to camp. I've probably gone for the wrong freaking thing here. Should I have gone, got off the skirmishers? And then probably put on maybe some spearmen and then put them on the flank maybe. And put the light chariots first. I mean, light chariots are good against axemen. Oh god, I 
I don't know. I don't fucking know. I really don't know. What do I want? I don't want to replace these archers with something. All these spearmen, maybe. I cannot, I don't know what my army comp should be. I really don't know. A trial of migration, so we're pleased to find that a great number of tribes have crossed the border for money, but they've lost and settled in the territory of Quebec. Uh, Alright, fair enough. Need some fruit, well, we need to import fruit and open over here. Get some more fruit there. Thank you. And. Do I have like more tribal people or something that are settled on our hands? No, we still, we still got the only, we still got the same ones we have over here. Uh, fair enough. I mean, I'm gonna go just for more axemen first. Let's just get more axemen. We can have enough of these axemen units. So we'll go for five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Just increase the size just to act as a deterrent for these guys. Again, I would like to move against these guys, but I can't move on. These are gonna fucking annoy us. Okay, as soon as I declare war on you got it or big blocks, they're gonna drop. It's obvious. It's blatantly obvious what these guys are going to do. What's called cost? Oh, I'm out. Oh, yeah, why not? Let's get that. Could always be useful. These abilities are going to be nice. We'll take that. Starting experience, maybe. No, I don't really need that. No, I really don't need it. What I need to do now, though, is probably pass the law. And we are going to pass the mercenary contract law. Reduces the army maintenance from mercs. So let's do that. And then we'll do the great overlord. Let's do that one. That's a pretty good one to have. But if we stop that for a little bit. We shouldn't be paying too much for these guys for now. Let's see what happens at the end of the month. That didn't change. Is it like not meant to change? Well, we've got to drill our armies, it's probably costly for more as well. We don't want to drink. I can drill mercs, can't I? Of course, let's drill the mercs as well. Yeah, might as well. We've got cash to do so, though, so there's no reason not to. At least we can get ready for war. Okay, they've stopped now. They've stopped. There's a war with somebody else. So that's good. That actually, I think we've got a revolt. What's the revolt? It's very tiny. So I think we might actually use this moment of respite to probably strike these guys. Like if I level one, you can give me a boss. You have. They still got. Why do they have 24 cohorts? They have a lot of men. They must have hired mercs. Surely, God. Well, what we're going to do, we're going to go and take care of them, because then after that, we could fall for Nisia. And that would be nice. We get two free bombs investments. We gain level to level, get more farm happiness. We just change the name to Phoenicia and it'll be a nice little objective done. So what they're gonna do is probably send in our mercs for this job. Now here I've got 5, 10, 12. 5, 10, 12. So that's 24 cohorts. These have yeah, just the mercs on their own can easily take out. You got it. These have 5 cohorts. The tech level is pretty similar to my own. By the way, we have another tech level, and I just remember it, so we're going to go for the military structure here. Yeah. Army morale plus 5%. That is going to really be a nice thing that's going to help us. So let's move you fellas to the border here. Move you fellas to the border here. And I'm going to move some of my men. I'm going to fight with this axe army over here, over here as well. Probably get you off government control. Yeah, I'll get off government control and I'll put you. Wow. I'll let the party kill these. Put you there, and I'm going to go here. That should be more than enough. Way more than enough. So I'll place these guys on the borders, and then we'll take them out. I mean, they're still fighting. We could easily take these guys out before they do anything to annoy us. And then, if they try to plan all the night again, then we'll, be, we'll, we'll get ready for it. The longer they postpone, the better position we will be to take them out. And I might end up. Instability for political influence? Not really. I don't really want that. See that, and these guys want to see you as well. 
the moment for you. Probably not just yet. Go away from that house to restore it. Find a clever one who do you bring in. Toss him away in cash. You can possibly bring him in. You're not going to do anything to us. I'm going to go for the evidence of making it just in case something bad goes wrong. But I hardly doubt that will happen. We have thoughts up here. They have a couple of thoughts, but it doesn't last too long, especially with this guy. He's got amazing, like, he's got, uh, he's got the original thing. There we go. The siege of ability. He's a monster, so I've never seen that before. That's something. He's got information, that's not cool. Not cool at all. But I think we're ready. I'm in off on the borders. What is on our army comp here? Oh, yeah, I need to think about what we're going to put here. So, I'm going to guess. What are these good? What are these doing? It's a crap against archers. Okay. I'm going to put axemen first. Maybe then put the skirmishers. Because I'm going to guess they're going to be putting like axemen in. And then I'll put the light chariots on the flank. We'll try it like that. I'm going to do the same for you guys. And what have you got? I've got axemen. I've got axemen as a first line. I'll put the skirmishers and then the spearmen on the flanks here. In case they have to have. That seems to be good. What about you? Axemen as well. Skirmishers and Spearmen. That should be fine. Well, let's go. I've got a bit of a rest of expansion, but I mean, so what? Screw it. I mean, let's try and take what we can. Should I bring in offense here? No, I mean, oh, quite sake, join us. So that's fine. More than enough. I don't need to bring in Canada, so we'll take you down it. Let's go. You're going to see that down, you're going to see that down, and you're going to go over here. And you're going to go over here. Actually, no, you're going to go just behind and help me. Let's move. The quicker we can do this, the better. Let's quickly finish this war. I can't get any more on this comment, to be honest. Okay, so if he's going to fight, I need to pay attention to the force mark on their attack. He's got this. Skirmish, who's a better general. This guy's got oh. nine marshals of ability, this has got ten. So if he's using skirmishing, we're going to have to count on skirmishing. So if skirmishing is countered with shock, so the shock dash in him. There we go. Oh, no, the change that seems to be forced to change that as well. We should be fine. I don't think he's going to be this. Okay, and this is the Metal Comp that's fighting, so. It should be losing any amount of power. Okay, so we beat them pretty well, to be honest. It's going to move you just back here a little bit. It's going to make you guys walk on each other. Minus 40%, minus 35%, minus 21% now. Quick, quick, we can do this today. Oh, uh, that guy's coming, so that's pretty much over and done for him. He tied the mercs down here. Let's get rid of them. Oxy archers. And I'll get axe in instead. One, two, three, four, five. That's fine. Get them axe in and I'll get them archers at the end. Then hopefully, touch wood, everything will go fine and we can finally form Phoenicia. I would have managed to do it with our second ruler, by the way, if we can do it, which isn't bad at all. He's joined, doesn't it? No, fine, but okay, fair enough. You want to be friends? Let's be friends. I think I'm probably going to try and take all that. Wow, the season there was already one. Let's go on that one. Move. We're going to go here now. I think we're going to go just fine. Might as well reinforce. Got 3,000 men there. We're going to go just behind there, to be honest, I think. Yeah, we'll keep them in line. I don't want to put them too far away from each other. In case you try to attack them. He's got 4,000 there, that's quite a lot actually. That's been taken, I'm going to keep you clear. You're going to stay in the middle and you'll reinforce whichever one needs to be reinforced. You're still planning my demise, not necessarily to hurry up. I mean, speed is going to be the essence here. We need to do it as quickly as possible. They want dies, that's fine. Take it. What's the cool up here, by the way? Yeah, it's Phoenician as well, we'll take it. I've got extra 2,000 men there. Yeah, then Merc's joining in. They have more men than anticipated. I've got to say. 40%, please fall. No, not just yet. Yeah, there's a lot of men over here. The next 
battle will be decisive. A mediation showed an argument of infuriously waiting for some time now between Eliasa Hakata and Yappa Ethnic. Uh, so what do you want gold to you? You're the wife of the head of the new family, and you're the wife of the steward. I'm going to be a wise man and split it both ways. What are you doing? Oh, God. Yeah, you need to really enforce super fast. Come on, smash it down. Oh, my God, there's so much men over here. Oh, the last oh, yes, 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 that was great. That was great. Right, let's reinforce this quickly. Jesus Christ, there's so many damn men. We knew good play good boy to play. Who we knew? Chat so that's the best man for the job and the most loyal come a bod dash to That was a five and a half of a bit cunning by the mind. I need to finish this war quickly. Although they were not doing massive wars. Oh they're war with who? They were war with boss as well. Why? They're trying to take this. Yeah, we need to finish these guys off. ASAP. I mean, like ASAP. Uh, friends across borders. So, while Chancellor Pemey asked friends to fight outside borders, but trying to use his network to the advantage of one nation. A sub gained a million dollars. A massive sub gained a million dollars. We lose a hundred gold. Yeah, why not? I want to be friends with you. Right, let's go over here. Oh, I can't put that full rocket in any movement. I don't know whether to take it all or just kind of piece it out. Or will it already do it as well? Not that will you do it. The war with big loss. Metal there, yeah. Let's hurry up. We need to hurry up. Please, full 28%. I mean, be nice. The gods, please let us. There we go. See, sometimes we just have to act. We need that fort there. Then we can piece that out. So as soon as we take that fort, you guys are going to go back. These mercs. Oh, I'm just going to fall over here. Oh, God, no, there's a lot of men. Let's... Yeah, are you guys going to stay up there? Do I join them all together? Yeah, let's join them all together. Let's go. Or should I try and wipe these out? We've got no more out. I think we can do that. Hopefully these guys will help us out. Let's join on here. I'm going to join them over here now. I'm going to go here. What do you want? Speed up. Right, let's go on that fort there now, quickly. Oh, God, are you going to go there to attack him, or what's going on? How do I do this? How do I do this? How do I do this? Do I do this? Let's... I don't really want to deal with that guy. I just want to take this fork quickly, and then we can piece it out. Well, what if I have to piece it out now? That is the question. But here I can take this. I'm pretty much take that, and then we can perform the finish. Do I risk dragging the war on any longer? Considering that this douchebag here is plotting to kill me so bad. Do I really need this extra land up here? Probably not. You know what? I'm going to play it safe. We're always trying to take that later. I think it's the wise option. And we are going to play it safe because I have basically no manpower and our armies are going to be replenishing. And what will it be stuck? And it won't be stuck anymore? I thought it could be stuck. Like, this is fine if we can just take that. I'll be more than happy. I'm sure we need negative 33. We need a fight. We need to fight these guys off now. So let's go and um, the quicker we can deal with these guys, the longer we'll have to So let's get in. Okay, we've got the right tactic, which is good. Uh, oh, aren't you joining us, my friend? I just need to. Oh, that's enough. That's really bad thing. Yeah. Where are you two to? Behind me? Oh, was that right? I think it was that right. Yeah, we should have wiped his whole army there. I might not be able to take it all, actually. It is a possibility now. If I was to move you guys over here and do two separate procedures, we could do this. 
But this changes everything considerably. He's still fighting. If we could peace out here very fast, take these last two forts, then we're ready. Please, 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 as fast as possible, right? as fast as possible, any extra protect. Oh, let's go, let's take that back with me. Not too many real could be nice. Uh, white piece, maybe, I don't mean, no. Okay, we've got these guys here have been a pain. On negative seven. Give us a good, give us some good, give us some good, good people. Our army down here has quite a few men. We do anything gay, you're doing Seven percent. Oh, they're coming from over here, aren't they? We've got a crap down here. Oh god, there's a lot of men. Oh, there's a lot of coming from all over the place. Okay, um, let's go for the national tax here. Maybe we can quickly take this. And... Oh god, what are they doing? Don't leave me. <laughs> oh, they're coming down there now. You shouldn't leave this one thousand. Oh god. Oh, they go. Come and join me. Please join me. Yes, yes, yes. Hey, are you not stupid? Yes, well done. Well done, anyway. Well done, well done, well done. For the first, for the, one of the very first and only time I'm going to say well done, anyway. Get some upgrade back. Good. Right, let's finish them off. Take everything and you quickly peace out. There's no more men left. It's like, oh, God, our main army's been decimated. Decimated, decimated, the smithereens. Yeah, they're gonna finish them off and come for us, I know they are. I forgot to say, 42%, please fall out, am I being too greedy? Am I being too greedy? So, for this bird, you're going to be spiders, aren't you? Cool, we're getting 10, but she's getting 10 for that, but we're getting more than our armies now, which is nice. Please, 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 finish them off. There we go, finally taken. Right, let's move. We'll link it back over here now. What's that? Is that a me? Oh, that murder army's got nobody left. We're going to go down here now. Let's go. 7%. One more thing to take, and then we're good. Please, 7%. To the gods. Let's see the gods, please. No. Nothing. Nothing. Wex there. And you've got to go over here quickly before you die. I'm just starting as well. That's why we're using all of the murder troops, because they don't have supply trains, obviously. At least when we take this, we get this other merch attack here. Let's go fighting. We're gonna finish this up soon enough. And we need to be ready for when we do. Right, one more. 35%. It's got a fall. I'm starting to be grateful. I don't like this event. I'm gonna take a loyalty here. I don't like using overall research efficiency. I find it bad. It's like I hate it. I never never like that. There we go. Finally finished. Boom. Let's go. Two for peace. I want everything that you've got, my friend. Okay. 15 minutes of expansion for it, but then that's fine. Now we'll, now we'll kind of conquest that we directly have under our control will be over. I'm not going to take any more land for our own game. Um, I think now it's going to be trying to defend against uh, Emperor. It's got to be to defend against these guys. And then we'll try and figure ways to expand. Maybe Cyprus is going to be the next target. I think that is going to be the next target. Once we deal with Emperor, Let's quickly keep these out here. The Bibliotion Elite, I'm going to have judgment on the important families. Because they are the culture, and we invite the best and brightest minds. And they don't have that many good people, so we can Baliat on or Mitra. Then over here we'll bring in, you look pretty good. Bring in, has it been a while, Barker? The builders here are crucified, and here we'll bring in some Musu. And then we'll crucify the other one. They'll take that, that's fine. And now what we need to do is move back. And I'm going to move you guys all the way down here. And before we end the episode, I'm just going to quickly unite Felicia because uh, I'm going to actually end the episode here. So I think it's been about 30 odd minutes. Well, I think it's 35 minutes I've been recording. So if you unite Felicia, it'll be interesting to see what could happen. So let's go. Oh, we're like a grey colour. Oh, I prefer the other colour. The other colour was nicer. But I won't always be done the first time we get to the paper, which is fantastic. And I am now going to end the episode. So, in the next episode, people, what we will do is we'll try to get ready for the inevitable war against uh, these guys against Edward. We need to bring our merch back down. I need to bring the army back down 
replenish. Also, I need to probably defend some of the land over here. I'll share I've got this to that different region. Oh no, not a different region, I'm scared. Yeah, I thought that was a totally different region, but it's not. So, what I'm going to do is we'll keep that fort there, I think. And I'll just administer this in the next um, episode as well. We'll check what the cities have got. I might do that off camera. I think I'll do that off camera and I'll check what I've done. Anyway, as usual, thank you so much for joining me. If you enjoyed the episode, please don't hesitate to hit that like button down below. And if you want to see more involved in content, also consider subscribing to the channel for more. With that said, thanks again for being here, people. Have a great day, and I'll hope you catch you on the next one.